Have you ever seen a woolly bear and wondered if it could predict the winter? Well, wonder no more. Woolly bears have a variety of folklores associated with them, letting us know if the winter is going to be harsh or not. The first one has to do with the banding patterns. A fully red woolly bear says that the winter is going to be mild. A fully black woolly bear says that the winter is going to be harsh. They say if the black is near the front, then it's going to be a front-loaded heavy winter, and if it's towards the back, it'll be a harsher winter at the end. There's also myths saying that the fluffier that the woolly bear is, the harsher the winter is going to be, and if it's heading south, that means it's escaping the north to head south for the winter. Unfortunately, none of these are true and we're going to talk about it right now. The first problem is that there are numerous species of woolly bear. There are eight in the United States and 260 in North America. That means they can come in a ton of different colors. The banded woolly bear is the one that we use to make these predictions. But this giant leopard moth is a fully black woolly bear and will never get any red. It's a completely different species. And the yellow woolly bear can either be this kind of bright yellow or also this kind of bright orangey red, and it will never be black. So you might not even be looking at the right species. The second problem is that the banding is only indicative of the previous year's growing season and the size and age of the caterpillar. If the caterpillar had a lot to eat, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and the bigger it gets, the smaller those red bands become in the middle. So basically, a small red-banded caterpillar means he's a thick boy and ate a lot. It's also indicative of the caterpillar's size. The caterpillar will molt six times before it turns into a pupa, and with each successive molt, that red band gets bigger and bigger. The fuzziness of the caterpillar allows it to overwinter. The hairs allow it to systematically cool until it is frozen solid. And some woolly bears can withstand temperatures of minus 90 degrees Fahrenheit. What? If you see a woolly bear out and walking around, he's just looking for a really nice place to sleep all winter or freeze solid all winter, as the case may be. I hope you liked learning a little bit about this folklore and also learning about the true biology of the woolly bear.